Hello, my name is Andrew Pether. I am the head of technical support for Universal Robots in the Southeast Asia and Oceania region. In this series of videos, I'm going to give you an introduction to the Universal Robot system. In part one, I'm going to start with unboxing, setting up and powering up your robot for the first time. So when you receive your Universal Robot, it will come in two boxes, one for the robot arm and one for the controller. I'm going to start by unboxing the robot arm. So once you've taken your arm out of the box, all you need is four screws to mount it down onto the platform that you'll be using. In this instance, I'm using a UR3, which is the smallest of the Universal Robots family. It has a maximum payload weight of three kilograms and weighs only 11 kilograms. For the UR3, I need four M6 bolts to mount it onto the platform. So besides the UR3, we also have two other robots in the Universal Robots family, the UR5 and the UR10. The UR5 has a maximum payload of 5 kilograms and weighs 18 kilograms, while the UR10 has a maximum payload of 10 kilograms and weighs 28 kilograms. All of these are lightweight robots that can be picked up and moved around your facility very, very easily, allowing you to quickly and simply redeploy the robot to many different tasks. The second box contains the Universal Robots controller. So the control box is also fairly lightweight and compact, weighing 15 kilograms, and you can run it off of any standard single phase AC power supply around the world. So I can take the power cable that comes with the robot, Plug one end into the bottom of the control box and the other end into any standard power socket. First, take the cable coming from the base of the robot arm, plug it into the bottom of the control box and close the latch. Once you've plugged the cables into the control box, we can go ahead and press the power button on the teach pendant here to start up the system. After pressing it, you should see that the light goes green and the Universal Robots logo appears on the screen. So the boot process will take less than a minute. So far in total, we've taken less than five minutes to get the system up and running. And on average, it takes only half a day to go from unboxing a robot to getting it up and running. It's doing its first task. It's a very fast setup process. Once the controller has finished booting, I can press the go to initialization screen button on the teach pendant and then press the power on button. Then the final step is to press start, which will unlock the robot brakes. And now the robot is powered on and ready to move.